excited thinking about what kind of solutions our role storming session will um, come to pass. I'm excited to see the role storming process. Gun violence. I mean, we could have started with climate change or distracted driving or something normal. Looking at it from behind the scenes or watching the whole process unfold. People have these little push button reactions. You never know what, what solutions are going to happen. And I'm thankful for Ruth Beauchamp for having the idea to do a session. Talk about it and hopefully come up with a solution. How everybody can come together with some kind of consensus. I had no idea this thing was so polarizing. I didn't realize that there was going to be some conflict. I am feeling excited and a little in anticipation of what's going to be happening. Like, how will it go? Maturely and logically being able to talk about them. I have a little bit of trepidation in advance of this. If it weren't for Ruthie Beauchamp, mm -hmm. who called me and said, we need to do one of those role storming sessions on gun violence. And I immediately thought, yes, let's, let's try it out. Who knows what's going to happen? People tend to go part way. That's what happened with role storming. You're going to, you, you'll see, you, you just saw pages where there's a blogger somewhere in another country. Sometimes it's, I think it's cool, I find them in different languages, talking about role storming. I did with Mind Tools as the featured tool of the month. I see that um, Van Gundy, a guy named Arthur Van Gundy, put it in two of his books, but he never called me. I'm so thankful, so thankful. And I tried to track him down because it resurrected role storming when I wasn't doing much with it. We needed something. I was a productivity manager at National Semiconductor and then training manager at Intel. And we tried brainstorming and we tried all these other tools and we'd go around and get people to come up with ideas and they'd run dry very quickly. Our purpose today is to do justice to this, this question. How do we reduce gun violence? That's our main purpose. We got some cameras, we got some lighting. We're good. We are at round one. We are going to step into the role of what Rick has termed a saint. Teresa, maybe you already thought of that already. Uh, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Joan of Arc. Or Princess Diana. Job as people is to love. You don't have to say your first. Oh, I don't have okay. to say it. Okay, well, sorry. Um, um, uh, I'm a communication specialist. I'm about to move to Saudi Arabia oh, wow. <laughs> in like three weeks. So. Uh, my rights. Control. Take guns away from liberals. Success comes from self-interest. The system will sort itself out. My truth is not your truth. Um, Amelia Earhart. About Jesse Owens. 
Susan B. Anthony, Martin Luther King Jr., Harry Potter for our pod fans, <laughs> uh, or Mark Twain. <laughs> you might remember J.R. Ewing, um, Al Capone, Darth Vader, Lee Harvey Oswald, or Jack the Ripper. Those are just a generation I did. Seek first to understand. That starts to build ownership and consensus, which we need a whole lot. In We've gone through three, all three, St. Center winter. The purpose was to stretch your mind or anybody in a group trying to tackle a tough problem. Um, we're going to go around one more time, and you don't have to tell us who you're thinking about, St. Center winter. Ask the kids. Get rid of guns. Get rid of guns. <laughs> Help kids interact. Okay. That's a really good one. Do you? <laughs> Should I let him give it? Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> He might not stop. <laughs> no, Dave. Somehow, some way. Somehow, some way. Sylvia, you see a spot? Uh, to the right. Oh, right. Okay. Uh -huh. Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. Uh, Number two. Peace on our streets. Number three. Don't want to get rid of gun violence. Number four, oh, that's not necessary. Number five, I want to understand. 43, envision the good. And 44, my truth is not your truth. Number 44. Are you okay combining education and understanding? I like keeping those separate, I think. Yeah. You do? Okay. Let's leave that as number five. Okay. And number 17, we'll call number five also. Does that work? Yeah. 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 That's number five. But give me a call for a peace rally. Mm -hmm. and, and I wrote that down, but I didn't know how to get it. it, no. it, didn't, mm -hmm. it I couldn't come up with a word for that and envision the good envision what it would be like mm -hmm. yeah. but then the other part of that I really like envision the good okay because that envision takes you good. into thinking 43, you know, 43, how do we how do we get to where we want to be I and mean, we have mm -hmm. to all envision what does that even mean right Understanding is not necessarily acceptance. You know, what I mean, it's just seeing someone's point of view, understanding, and so compassion and respect to me is a much better way of looking at compassion and respect. I don't know if that's what you're yeah, saying, I, but I, I see, see that the three. I like the. I like twenty six. I think I do like twenty six better. Twenty one. Yeah. 22. So as we lead up to our last vote, um, let's take a let's take a read through. Tell me your story. 26, understand and educate, and 43, envision the good. 
So, can you guess how many votes I'm going to give you? I'm going to give you two votes each. Remember, we're trying for consensus and ownership in these kind of sessions. So, before you vote, who wants to say something about these three? One of the things I like about these three is that it includes a vision, an overarching perspective, and an action plan. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, it does. <laughs> And I like those three components. So I think it's um, I think it's not a good idea to go down to one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll be happy with what I said. <laughs> Build consensus inward all the way to the light bulb, but you implement outward. Okay? Huh. So you give whatever comes in first place, or if I have to draw a line through and have two if we have a tie, you implement here and then move outward to the next ring. And this is the commitment that leadership and management should have been giving to the populace in organizations. It's like you don't go through something like this and forget about it, you do something about it. So if you get consensus and ownership, and that you had a group of people go all the way down to a light bulb, then implement the light bulb, work on it. But you move to the next round as soon as you can. To me, I would say tell me your story is first, then that leads you to understanding and education, yeah. and that leads you to envisioning the I agree. So yeah. you really should start with tell me your story is the number one thing to do. Well, it's just envision the good, I love that. Uh, but again, envision we all good. have different visions of what truth is, what goodness is. Thank you, Tally yeah. yeah. That was so difficult. <laughs> 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 How did that fall out again? The 12 had number 12 had the most. We advertise as we can do these in 60 minutes, huh. and um, I'm the one that sweats, but if we get it done. <laughs> Those roles. Hopefully you notice how it unleashes the fear, the ridicule, the embarrassment. It just takes it, maybe not for you personally, but for a whole lot of people, it, it mellows that so that their brains can come up with some ideas.
uh, an asynchronous Facebook group where we are going to be doing a similar process with other societal issues. We will start with this one. It's going to be have an opportunity to experiment with people that have different um, sphere of influence. You have different people that you communicate with. You have different uh, leaders that you work with. We invite you to take this to them. It takes us to people that can make a difference or can, can implement. Social issue. 